Hello and welcome to Novato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordila, and in today's video, uh, you'll learn how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. If you don't know, Analytics is a free tool you can use with your Google account, which uh, tracks and reports website traffic. As of uh, 2019, Google Analytics is the most widely used web analytics service on the web, and for good reason. This tool doesn't just track the number of visitors. It also tracks the session duration, the pages per session, uh, the bounce rate, uh, information about the source of the traffic to those pages, right? So it's a very complete tool. It can also integrate it with Google Ads. Now, let's assume that you have a website built with WordPress. How do you integrate this analytics tool. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. Uh, but first things first, you have to sign up for Google Analytics using your Google account. So if you do a quick search on Google for Google Analytics, you can go to this first link right here. Um, if you're not logged in with Google already, it's going to ask you to log in. But I'm already logged in. So it's going to take me to this Welcome to Google Analytics uh, page, right? So here, start measuring, you would uh, set up your analytics account name. So let's say testing analytics. And then you can hit next. Uh, make sure here you select web. Next, the website name, I'm going to say Adipurdila design website URL, Adipurdila.design, which is a, a domain that I purchased uh, recently, and I intend to uh, to move my uh, my website on it. And this is actually the perfect uh, uh, test subject, so to speak, because I, I don't have analytics set up on it just yet. And I'm going to hit create. Just make sure you accept this bit. Accept. This takes you to the dashboard of Google Analytics. And this is where you can get the tracking code or the tracking ID as it's called. Uh, it's right here. You currently cannot see it on the screen because I uh, I hit it. This is, uh, you know, my personal code. Uh, but yours is going to be right under tracking ID. And you can also see it uh, right here in this uh, JavaScript code. All right. So now that uh, analytics is set up in your Google account, let's add it to WordPress, shall we? I'm going to show you three ways you can do that. The first way, which is the easiest, and in my opinion, the best method is by using a plugin called Monster Insights. So right now I'm in the uh, dashboard or the back end of my WordPress installation. So I'm going to go to plugins, add new, and I'm going to search for Monster Insights. And it's this one right here, Google Analytics dashboard plugin for WordPress. So we're going to hit install now. And I'm going to activate it and it's going to take you to this uh, landing page here. You just launch the wizard here. I'm going to choose uh, publisher save uh, monster insights uh, also has a pro version, which is paid, but I'm going to use the light because it gives me everything I need. So connect monster insights here. It's actually going to uh, take me to a page to log in with my Google account. So I'm going to do just that. Allow here. I'm going to leave this one selected complete connection here. You can actually uh, scroll down. You can choose to check or uncheck some of these options. I'm just going to leave um, everything uh, as it is. Save and continue. Uh, this will uh, recommend some add ons for uh, the plugin, but I'm going to choose save and continue WP forms. I don't need this at this point. So I'm going to skip this step. And we're all set. So we're going to hit finish setup and exit wizard. So now you have your website, your WordPress website connected to Google Analytics. And it usually takes about 24 hours for analytics to do its magic and start sending you reports. So you can check back then and uh, see traffic reports either in your analytics homepage, you go to home, 
and here it tells you how many users you have active right now and once the reports start populating with data you'll see all the information right here in this graph and then of course you can uh, view uh, various graphs here like for example how do you acquire users like where are your users coming from trending information uh, user retention graphs so you have a bunch of stuff uh, to look at here uh, top devices right so where are people browsing from their tablet their phone their desktop uh, when do your users visit you have a breakdown by hour here and also where are your users from you'll get geographical information which is really really cool and also what pages do your users visit so after 24 hours of um, implementing um, or integrating analytics to your WordPress site you'll start uh, seeing results here now with this plugin monster insights you can also uh, see those um, analytics reports directly in your WordPress dashboard you don't have to open the the Google tool separately you can go to insights right here reports and it's gonna tell you everything you need to know right here of course if you want a bit more uh, details you can go back to uh, to analytics but this will uh, pretty much show you everything you need so that was method number one uh, using this monster insights plugin now if you don't want to use this for some reason there are other ways so method number two is by using another plugin which is called uh, insert headers and footers so you would go to plugins and let me actually uh, deactivate this plugin so I'm gonna hit add new I'm gonna search for insert headers and footers install now activate it and then you can go to settings insert headers and footers and here you have the option to add scripts in the header or in the footer of your pages and this will be installed in all of the pages basically it uh, modifies header.php and footer.php which are WordPress files that are included in every single page so for this to work you will need to go back to analytics admin go back to tracking info you need to copy this code from here and uh, Google actually tells us where to copy and paste this uh, so you need to do it as the first item into the head of every web page so we can simply copy and paste it here hit save and you're good to go now if we take a look at my website and we view the page source you will see that we have the script that we just added right here and that's going to be present in every single page method number three involves a little bit of coding because you need to change some WordPress files for that you need to go to appearance theme editor hit I understand and then you would have to search for header.php and then you would go in here and you would just paste in that script and hit update file or alternatively you would go to functions.php which is this file and then in here anywhere in the uh, in the file you would do something like this php you would say add action wp head and I'm going to say custom Google analytics and then we're going to create a function with the name custom Google analytics and then you would paste the analytics code right here but before we do that we have to actually close out the PHP tag here and we need to reopen it here right so if I were to do this completely it would look something like this and basically this would 
watch for the WP head function. And when it's triggered, it's also going to trigger our custom Google Analytics function. And it's going to insert the script into every single page. Now, the problem with using this uh, third method uh, by, um, you know, changing the functions PHP or the header PHP functions, uh, files, excuse me, is that if the theme is changed, then the website is not tracked anymore because functions PHP, header PHP, these are all theme files. So if you switch to a different theme, it's going to use different functions PHP or header PHP files. So any changes that you make here will only be applicable if the theme is currently active. Uh, you could bypass this if you use a child theme, but that's another discussion. For now, uh, know that this third method is the least recommended one. And that's it, easy peasy. Uh, out of the three methods, I definitely recommend the first one using the Monster Insights plugin because it's the easiest one to use. Um, you don't have to write any code. You get analytics reports directly in your dashboards, uh, in your WordPress dashboard, which is uh, fantastic. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm Adi Pordilo, and until next time, take care.